from these guys. So Natalia, then Tyr, <clears throat> then, um, what's her name? Lolly Rural. A lollipop game. Let's fight one more of these guys. Gunier, go go! Someone stop her! Like, they gave them so much more leeway before... It's not like in Tales of Asperia where, like, if your spell's interrupted, like, it's immediately interrupted. You don't get a chance to cast it. I got used to playing this game because... You know, if they did that to you, your spell would still go off, too. If they, like, barely interrupted you at the last second, you would still get your spell off. But in TLV, you, uh, don't get to cast it at all. If they interrupt you. You are no match for me. Okay, who's next on the chopping block? It's gonna be Tyr, then it's gonna be Anis. Lunatito. Mojito. We can heal here as well for relatively cheap. Brilliant Overlord, the Desert Oasis. Where the fuck now? Luke, Eddie, I am you. Is that a ruin? I'm a you really not Luke. Right. Let's go, I guess. We can buy shit here, and I think we should. Mm. Or maybe later. Don't know, man. We don't have any damn money. Nobody goes there anymore on account of it being dangerous. As our ruins just said east. So glad everybody knows. Drink from this magical spring water for only 20 gold. A hundred? Far more than it's even worth. You can't like... Like who made you in charge? You can't just say, oh, uh... There's a well here, but you have to pay money to drink from it. It's like, mm -hmm. fucking order of Lorelei. Bunch of ripoff artists. Damn order of Lorelei. Release Lorelei. Uh, the item shop's right in here. Need to definitely replenish. So much more expensive here. What a bunch of shit. I mean, we are in the middle of the desert. You will play. You will pay these exorbitant prices because you have no choice. You want to die? Then I suggest you pay. Fucking rip off. I'm so glad that they abandoned this idea of trying to be like quote unquote realistic. What is like the cheapest shit I can buy? Like potatoes and rat pig meat. Whatever we can get out of that. Thank you, take care. 
Yeah, there's a side quest involving Guy learning extra uh, moves and abilities. One of the people you have to talk to is in that hut. But uh, we did that during the lore playthrough. Also, the music out here switches to whatever music you last heard, so now it's the Oasis music. Like, there was no music, I guess, for this section of the map because it simply does not play the regular map music. So dead. Okay, just uh Resurrection's off, right? Yes, okay, so she can't bring Luke back, that's all that matters. So easy to use all of your mana. We're not playing around either. Yeah, I have to try not to fucking use these items unless it's in a boss fight, cause shit is expensive. Okay, who could I switch out? I could switch tier out. She's not any better or worse as a healer. Okay. What do you have? Grandiose. And you should have 2D over here, yeah. Yeah, for sure. From Sweden. Let's fight this guy. This dungeon's also not very hard. A little long. Last time we were here, we spent forever trying to um, get a rock to drop from those dudes. Barrier. Heavy hit, immunity, magic charge, angel's tear, auto aid, resilience, rear guard too. Yeah, she's got lots of good skills already. Okay, so battle, C core. Take that off of you, put this on you. Then who's next? Jade, by the looks of it. Could leave that for now, I guess. I'll put Parlanto on you. And Parlanto is not one that you'd normally find. You have to make that shit in the Din shop. I showed you guys how to do that during the lore playthrough as well. These dudes are actually pretty dangerous. You want to stop them from casting because turbulence really hurts. I hear a bunch of casting noises, so I don't know who's casting what. Um, you're way too close. You should be like right here. I should be like right here. There. Um, you can be here. You are like mid range, so I'll put you right there. This should be fine. Thunderlands! Oh, are you 
Feather of Wind. Nice. That's a pretty rare drop. Taunt, Mind Up, OL Boost. Sweet. Yeah, you can hear the sounds like all crackly here and shit. So, Battle, Seacore, Tootie on you, and Grandiose on you. It's as best as we can get it. Why did I put the reverse switch on it? Part of me wonders if the C-Core system is too convoluted. I mean, it certainly could be less if you chose to, like, not care. Which, I know it's a weird way to say that, like... It's hard to make yourself not care about something. If you are inclined to care about it in the first place, if that makes any sense. Like, there are people who won't do this That's because... Good. Min maxing their stats is not important to them, so they'll just stick whatever C core they think will do the job well enough, and then they'll just never take them off. Which, that's not a bad way to play. It just feels like such a waste. Especially since it gets to the point where certain characters, like, level up before others and you could have made the most use out of what you got in the game but that's how I see it you know and whenever I re-describe it it sounds like I'm putting the other way of doing it in negatively and that's only because it makes me feel negative like it doesn't mean that if someone else chooses to play in the game that way that, that makes them bad because it doesn't Oh! Right, casters against rock monsters. I hate this shit. Because they get knocked defenseless all the time. And like I said, it just makes the fight last longer than it should. Damn, Adnes has more HP. That's because she started so low level. She was level 5. The only one who would have more would be Luke because he would be, you know, starting at level 2 with like 2D for example, so his stats would be insane. And on New Game Plus 2, we'll be able to carry over our AD skills and like he'll have mental up, life up, all that shit. So will Tyr, obviously, and like my dudes are going to be way stronger in New Game Plus 2 because they'll have so many more advantages. Like, it's kind of cool that he, like, in order to do some of his moves, he, like, sheaths his weapon and then unsheaths it. But at the same time, it, make, it makes it feel like the animation lasts longer than it should. Kind of reminds me of Mitsuhide Akechi. I guess we're done here. Heavy hit, immunity, speed cast, stat boost, life healer, item pro, angel steer, auto wave, resilience, rear guard 2. It was unavoidable. It is your destiny. So. Okay, you. Who's gonna level? Natalia. And then Grandiose on you. Yeah, I mean, you're still technically gonna level before Tyr does, but still not for a while. Um, Luna Tito, I guess, for you, and Largamente for you, perhaps. Okay. I 
gonna come down here, see the little Earth Phonon skit. Earth Phonon cutscene, whatever you want to call it. Miracle Hammer. I wonder if the AI knows that these dudes go defenseless a lot, and that's why they choose to cast spells on them. I mean, Jade really has no choice. That's what he does. He's a caster. Ow. That wasn't too bad. Dying moon. Mew. I got Earth Phonon's master. Look, but it's well. The master of disaster. What? They must. I st every the I'm absorbing a They're new phone verse. Pretty much, this is where we get the ability to break rocks. Uh huh. He's a little too cutesy for my taste, but uh. Mew. Hmm. It does a new phone verse. Letter. It's a. There was. That's the new. Looking. Real. Hey, you're not going in there. So don't even think about it. You'll need to collect all kinds of Mew powers on your adventures. There's one Mew power that's completely missable because it's not even required. And that's the one that's at Tataru Valley. Okay, this dude's gonna get his cast off. Once I get that Valkyrie doll for Anis, she'll be able to... That pretty much acts as a mental bracelet and a spirit, uh, spirit bangle. Power charge, rear guard one, anti-element, happiness, comeback, C combo, C counter, reflect, reprise, dash guard, power hammer, item getter, item rover, status guard, item thrower. Who's next? Anis, and then it's Tear. Parlanto. Uh, I'll put that on you for now, though. I don't think it's going to get to that point. You, and then it's you, and then it's Natalia. So we should have enough time in between levels to switch out C cores. Should being the operative word. But yeah, you're much more involved in your character's development in this game than you Well, the previous titles. You get a little bit more involved in your character's development in TOV, because there's tons of systems to level up and take care of in that game. Oh, phone burst. Hey, cut your shit out, you little fucker. Oh, phone burst. your head to break shit. Don't disappoint me. 2400 gold. All of you are just so mean to me. Never. 
quit dawdling and let's get moving. They're so alike, it's funny. I mean, I've seen this a couple times now. I mean, I've beaten this game more than a couple of times, but... I'm not as, like... Mm, amused. I mean, I'm still... You know, the game still makes me laugh. Just because of just good writing. A lot of it is, anyway. But a lot of the scenes that I'm used to seeing, you know, it doesn't really surprise me anymore. Any moves that turn into something else? What is... So, it turns into Worm Wrath, but with what? Earth. Dragon Tempest! See, I could put a Sunlight Chamber on... Void Tempest, and then whenever I do Severin Wind, I can make my own FOF, and then do that. Breast Guard. But those Sunlight Chambers were originally on Luke. But why not? Let's have fun. Oh wait, I already have it, uh, dang. Hmm. And then Final Cross doesn't turn into Frigid Gale like it does in uh, TOV, so... If I want to be able to steal, I can't. I think Beast also steals, which... No, it doesn't. What's the other one that does, I wonder? Oh, Final Cross does. Tricky, aren't you? So I have two green ones that I haven't put on anybody. Who was it? No, that's fine. Oh, I haven't put it on him. Doesn't really matter right now anyway. So I still have an extra green one, eh? Oh, this is supposed to go on steel. There we go. Could put it. Could have put those on Ash, but 